come here, Rex. Look down the scope and tell me what you see. There's a bunch of deers. Deer. We don't say deers, we say deer. A bunch of deer? Exactly. That's what we've come here for. Amongst tribal people, this is what they call a rite of passage. A young boy about your age will go out from the village and he'll hunt and he'll track and he'll kill an animal. And he'll take it back and the whole village will celebrate him passing into manhood. A long time ago, your granddad used to bring me out to these hills and forests and he taught me absolutely everything I know. He taught me the sights and the sounds and the smells. You can track an animal by its scent. Did you know that? first time we came out, we shot ourselves a beautiful doe. A doe, female deer, like in the song. I thought you lived in the boys' home when you were young. Yeah, I did, but that was later. People, they just, they just poked their nose in. They didn't like the way your granddad brought me up taught me how to look after myself and fend for myself. That's why it's really important that we do this now. Come on, get yourself into a shooting position. Come on, get comfortable. Put the butt right into your shoulders so it's snug. Yeah? Whatever you do, don't pick the biggest one, because it's me and you has got to drag the bastard back to the jeep, isn't it? Go for female, that's the best. A young female, even better. Just let the crosshairs settle on his chest. And then squeeze the trigger. Come on, Rex, the deer. They're not going to wait around forever. This is your mother. I should have known it. She's let you go soft. You're going to end up like Jeff. I'm not like Jeff. Prove it. Pull the trigger and be a man. Can't. You're your mother's son. Wow, look at the view. Thanks so much for driving me, Tom. No, that's okay. I can't believe they didn't invite you as well. Susan and John have known you as long as they've known me, really. Have a look at this. It's 70 pounds per head, Stace. I expect they had to limit the guest list. Fontaine Hall, in the heart of Derbyshire's spectacular Peak District, makes the ideal venue for your country wedding. Surrounded by 20 miles. Skip down a bit. With prices from just 40 pounds per head. It's not 70 pounds. If you want to eat with your fingers. What? You have to read the whole thing. Meal from 40 pounds. Cutlery hire, compulsory, obviously, 10 pound per head. Plates and glasses, 10 pound per head. Then there's VAT. I read it while you were getting ready. Hmm. Now you know why weddings cost so much. Is that why you're still single? No, uh, I don't know. Oh, Tommy. We'll find the one for you yet. Did you see this? String quartet, £500. Yeah? No wonder they asked me to play the bridal chorus. You should have put that in the boot. This is not the sort of violin you can just chuck in the boot, Tom. You know, Sean wants me to sell it so we can... Hello? Oh, it's you. Whose phone are you using? You know where I am.
I'm going to Susan's wedding. You know why you weren't invited. Because you always get drunk and upset people. I don't want to talk about it. I'm with someone. Just a friend. Look, maybe I'll see you after the weekend. Oh, I've got to go now. We've got to the wedding place. Okay. Bye. Sorry. That was Sean. Mm -hmm. How are things? Not good. Split up again. Why did you say we'd arrived? I don't know. I just wanted to end the call without hurting his feelings. Too good for him, you know. I was just wondering if maybe you fancied going. Hi, mate. Uh, look, I'm driving. Can I call you back later? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The car's great. No problems. I'll call you later, okay? All right, then. Yep, yep. Bye, bye. bye. Sorry. nice. It's new, isn't it? Yeah, new to me, anyway. Just bought it off a friend. It's got loads of features. CD changer, alloys, you know. There's a two-litre V6 engine up front, so it's great for journeys like this. Sorry, you lost me at CD changer. What's a V6? No, it doesn't matter. The real question is, when are you going to learn to drive? I know how to drive. Mirror, signal, manoeuvre, all that. I just haven't passed the test yet. It's that bit where they ask you all the questions about the engine that puts me off. Oh, nothing scary about engines, not really. It's just chemistry. Fuel mixed with... Oh, that's not good. What is it? Damn! Damn, it's overheating. I'm really sorry, Stacey. I should have checked the coolant level before we started out. Is it serious? Are we in trouble? Maybe. Maybe not. Wait a minute. Damn it. Didn't bring any coolant. Are you all right? Yeah, but I just need to let this cool down a minute before I start messing with it. Do you think we can still make the wedding? What's the schedule? Um. Ceremony at 1pm. Wedding breakfast 3pm. Oh my god, 3pm. I'm starving already. Um, fireworks at 9, followed by hot buffet and first dance. You'll make it. Either we're just low on coolant or there's a leak. I'm sure we passed a petrol station on the main road not far back. They'd have some, but I should really stay here and check this over. How far back is this petrol station? I'm not sure. Less than a mile? It was uh, just before we turned off the main road, I'm sure. You know, I'm not really dressed to go trekking. I know. I mean, I know I should go, but I should really stay here and check the engine over. Lucky I bought a change of shoes. So what is it we need? Engine coolant. Or a big bottle of water should get us rest of the way. Engine coolant or a bottle of water. 
got it. Oh, no, no, I'll get it. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Here. Thanks. Back in a minute with some water or... Engine coolant. Engine coolant. Oh, look after my violin. I was going to say earlier, Sean wanted me to sell it so we could buy a flat. Wow, how much is it worth? <laughs> you don't want to know. Anyway, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Nice one, Tom. Really smooth. Hello? Hi, Sue. It's Stacy. How's it going? Stacy, oh my god, it's perfect. This place is so beautiful. Well, it looks like a nice day for it anyway. Fingers crossed it holds. It's supposed to rain later. Hopefully it won't spoil the fireworks. When are you getting here? Not sure. Bit of trouble with the car. I didn't know you had a car. Oh, no, Tom's given me a lift. What? From London? Yeah. Oh, bless him. You must bring him in. Well, he didn't get an invitation, so... It's okay. We can have a shuffle around and sit him next to you. Oh, fantastic. I'm not really sure if he's dressed for it, though. Well, as long as he's not too scruffy. Oh, damn it. It's such a shame about Tom's car. I think he only just bought it. Well, you know why, don't you? What do you mean? He got it to impress you. He's really keen on you. No, he isn't. He is. Why do you think you never see him with any other girls? I don't know. I always thought he was... What? Nothing. Stacy? Look, Sue, I better go. I've got to get something for the car. Okay. Make sure you bring Tom with you. We'll sort a table out for you two lovebirds. Susan? I'm telling you, Stace, he fancies you rotten. Why else would he offer to drive 200 miles to a wedding he's not even invited to? Look, I've got a flashing battery symbol. I'd better go before it runs out. I'll see you later. All right, then. Bye. Bye. Hey Mike, it's Tom. Hello mate. Listen, about that car you had off me, you'd better go easy on it for a few days, yeah? Yeah, I know all about it. It's overheated and it broke down. Oh no. I'm really sorry mate. Whereabouts are you? I'll come out and have a look at it. In the Peak District. Where's that? Is that north of the river? It's north of just about everywhere mate. Look, never mind, I've got this far. I'm sure once I refill the coolant we'll get the rest of the way. It's probably just a worn out hose or something. Okay. Well just bring it in to me once you get back. Alright then. Thanks, Mike. Dad? Dad? Forget about it, Rex. The damage is done now. I told your mother not to let you watch the BBC while I was inside. <laughs> There's a lesson for you, son. Always make sure the bleeder's dead. What are we going to do? That's perfect. This is where you get to have another chance. You're going to shoot it in the head. This has been on that many adventures with me. It'll be nice and easy for you to handle, yeah? Loaded. Unloaded. Loaded again. Ready to fire. Dad, I can't. Shoot this. 
disappoint me again, Rex. Just pull it out of its misery. I'm sick of hearing it bleating and whining. Will you just kill it? Kill it! Then I can't! You rats! Is he dead? Listen to me, Rex. I've only been out of prison for three months. I'm not going back. They'll put me away forever for this. It was an accident. It was my fault. They won't put me in prison. They'll put you in a boy's home that quick. Your head will spin. I won't let that happen. We were just hunting. For Christ's sake, Rex! It's illegal to trespass on this estate. It's illegal to hunt like this. The gun's not licensed, and I've got a record. What aren't you understanding? We've got to make it like this never happened. Yeah? It's just one person in the middle of nowhere. We can deal with this. Tom, my battery's running out. wasn't out here alone. How do you know? Looks like we've got another doe to hunt. Tom? Tom? <gasps> Tom?
All right, love. You look a bit lost. Want some directions? Um, no, I'm, I'm just waiting um, for my friend. You've got no phone. Battery's gone. Do you have one? No. <laughs> Leave all that technology back in civilization. Who needs one out here in the great outdoors? We just wanted some um, coolant for the car. Uh, engine trouble, have you? Probably got some water in the back. Do you want me to have a look? No, we're fine. Um, actually, yes, please. Let's have a look at what we've got. What's your name? Stacy. My name's Weaver Stacy. Pleased to meet you. You better let me do this. You're not really dressed for messing about with motors, are you? We're on our way to a wedding. Yeah, nice perfume. Let's give this a go. Ah, oh, would you look at that? Never mind. Tell you what, why don't you jump in the car and me and my lad will take you to the nearest garage? No, I'd better Come just on. wait. My lad, I'd love to meet you. Rex! Come on, say hello to the pretty lady. Look, I'd better just wait here for my friend. Um, thanks anyway. Think so. Shit. Plan B, it's going to have to be them. Listen, if she comes back out of those woods, you know what to do. Other than that, just stay put.
go.
Stacey, you can do this. Mira. Signal. Geneva. You like being chased down the bloody road! Credit where credit's due. You nearly had me by the bollocks up there. Earlier on as well in the woods with the perfume. That's cute. It's good to have a challenge. I like a challenge. It's a shame this has got to end really, but it has. Before it gets out of hand. What happened to Tom? Tom? Your boyfriend? He's not coming back. Why? Why are you doing this? You wouldn't understand. You have no idea what it's like to be a man. 
be a father, trying to do right by your son like my dad tried to do right by me. What's right about this? It's in a man's nature to hunt. Kids now, they're soft. The TV, you switch it on, it's just full of gays. I'm going to school and the teachers are all women. There's no fellas around. Kids, they're just... They're just like... What? Soft. Effeminate. If you ask me, they're even putting stuff in the water to turn them. They managed to turn Jeff. Rex's stepbrother. It's too late for him now. What happened? He was 16. I was at work. I was always at work. Working late. Stopped for a couple of drinks on the way home. Came in the house. And you could hear the techno music banging from Jeff's room. Just went upstairs, just to say, knock it off. I opened his bedroom door, and his mate was there. Two of them together, naked. Just kids. They were kissing, touching. I was never there. It's my fault. Never bonded with it. You walk in on that and the red mist, it just descends. You can never remember what's happened, you don't know what you've done. Just standing looking, his mother screaming in the face. And his mate's laying there unconscious. And my boy's laying there with his jaw fucking hanging off. Five years. Put me away for five years. Rex was... He was just... He was a little boy. He's a man now. I was never there for any of it. But is it really important? I was 13. Took me away from my dad. They put me in a boy's home. A Catholic place. At night, you'd hear them come in. And they'd come into your room and beat you. Vicious, vicious beatings. And other nights they'd come into your room and they didn't beat you. For you to tell me what's important. I know what's important to me. Please, I won't tell anyone about this. No, you won't. Because you'll be dead. Take the magazine out! I, I was just practicing like, like you showed me. Give me that!
This is for Tom, you bastard. Stay safe. Stay safe. Come on. Maybe I did overreact. Come on, I'm not going to hurt you. Come on, Stacy. This is silly. Hiding. I've got something for you. Stacy, I'm gonna kill you.
Seems like one does never cease. Looks like you're going to have another crack at her. She's in there. How do you know? Now listen, Rex. I'm going to make this easy for you. Yeah? I'm going to do what a lion is doing the wild for its young. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to win her. I'm going to flush her out. And you're going to take the kill shot. Yeah? Understand? And if you get this wrong this time, what happened to Jeff will look like a picnic compared with what I do to you. You got it? Got it? Yes, Dad. Right. Take this. Take it! It's ready to fire. All you've got to do, point it, aim, and squeeze the trigger. Even you can't miss at this range. Yeah? More playing. Come on. Time for games is over. You know what you're thinking, Stacy. Shall I run for the door? Go on, run for it! Run for the door! My boy's out there. He'll put a bullet in you quicker than I fucking will. He'll not hesitate. Not this time. Ready, sir? 
son. She's coming out. Put the rifle down. Always make sure the bleed is dead. Stacy, the rifle! Passed out afterwards and only just woke up. Oh God, look at you! I'm all right. Stop bleeding ages ago. You're not all right. Come on, let's go. <clears throat> Sorry, you didn't get to play the bridal chorus. Never mind. Maybe I can play the first dance. It's not until after the fireworks. Oh God, my violin. Wait a minute. Like I won't be playing the first dance either. Stacy, you're dead. You're all dead. Rex, where are you? Come and see what Daddy's going to do to you, Rex. 